In this video I show modifying spectrum transmitter to go from 100 milliwatt and on this one it was using dual polarization horizontal which had an antenna in the handle and in vertical which had an antenna here and switching back and forth. I've modified it where it's just single polarization which is vertical on a patch antenna and power has gone up to 1.3 watts with a built-in sun hands transmitter and to power it I have to use a two cell lithium pack that they make for this transmitter and so by going from 100 milliwatts to basically 1300 milliwatts they get a 4x increase in the range so it should be about a mile range and because uh, the range was only a thousand feet uh, at the 100 milliwatt and one of the biggest reasons for reduced range with the tiny whoop is the wimpy antenna and the antenna is in the worst position it's horizontal polarized which is pretty bad because if you're flying towards you you're you're uh, gonna have some reduced uh, power and uh, and so with the um, just raising the power compensates for that because you really don't have too much antenna choices you could probably do a vertical antenna have the antenna go straight off the bottom and get better range but it's so easy just to raise the power I mean the spectrum is a little harder if you had a Tyrannus you know there's tons of mods you know how to raise the power tons of videos on that and uh, but I'm going to show on this particular I like the spectrum it's legal their packets are network friendly even though I'm probably illegal on the power uh, I don't run it that much and uh, and so and then on this mod I have I can disconnect the amplifier and this is the direct output so if I need to go to 5 watts I can do that and uh, on top of my house uh, with an amplifier and a, an antenna for getting a further range but uh, tiny whoops only gonna fly a mile on a single charge one way half a mile round trip and uh, so but anyway let me show you what I did inside the transmitter and what I've done is the built-in transmitter is 100 milliwatts I've taken it up to 1300 milliwatts with the sun hand one watt power amplifier it actually ends up putting out 1.3 watts or 1300 so this spectrum transmitter is a MIMO which means it's a multiple in multiple out the multiple out is on this board there's actually two antennas that this transmitter previously had and every frame it switches between horizontal and vertical antenna orientation I did a modification here which probably y'all are not going to be able to do that's a super tiny wire I had to solder under a microscope I took out the switcher chip and I have both all the packets going to one antenna which then feeds you know, around and into the power amplifier. You could do two power amplifiers if you want and do it like that or just get a splitter on and connect both cables to a splitter and then go to a single you don't have to do the extreme that I did of remodifying the board there. So a couple other things. I found that this power amplifier can run, runs, says 12 volt input, but it does fine down to about six and a half volts. So I can get it direct from a two cell LiPo. And now the thing is, this transmitter doesn't have a switch on the battery the power switch on the front works a software switch so I had to make an internal switch which is an opto coupled FET from Toshiba here 
is as an optocoupled vet. And the way I'm wiring it is my plus battery, so my plus eight, plus eight, goes straight through to the power amplifier. And then my three volts from my transmit LED on the built into the transmitter goes through a 220 ohm resistor, turns on the LED, closes the FETs. This is the same thing as a solid state relay. And here's the wiring diagram for the solid state switch. Part number's in the description. The LED driver signal, which I show on the circuit board in the video, solders to a 220 ohm resistor. That drives the internal LED on the solid state relay. And pin two goes to ground. Pin three, just break it off. And pin four and six go to the battery plus. And then pin five, it lifts up and it goes to a thin wire because the, the regular power wire is a little too heavy. And that goes to the amplifier. And then this gets potted down with the welder cement. So that mod, I haven't potted any of this stuff yet. I want to show you before I pot it. This trace right here energizes at the same time that the LED for the transmit energizes. 220 ohm resistor. I feed the LED input. Let's see if we can get you all to see that. The LED input for the digital relay. Here's my 8 volt from my transmit battery. I'm using both of the FETs. And then I feed right into my power adapter. And now ground, I just picked that up on the back side of the board here. Just, just took off some of the solder mask and just got that right on the ground plane. I'm glad I ordered two of those because I just broke off the leg. I didn't pot this. This is all going to get potted. So, but I'll keep showing you how it works before I put it together. Okay, so built-in amplifier feeds through. Now I'm going through, I have an external basically disconnect here. Because I'm going to be going to also a much higher power, a 5 watt, to get many mile range. And uh, which will go on top of my house. But if you want to do that, you can. Using the shoe goo. So that doesn't move. So our output goes to the input of the power amplifier. The output of the power amplifier goes around. I have a coupler here to measure SWR and also output power and then soldered on to my output ceramic patch antenna which gives a pretty decent uh, radiation pattern. So I'm using over power to get range on this rather than focusing the beam. This is basically omnidirectional. Alright, now I'm going to pot everything. This glue is awesome. Basically shoe goo. Just locks it down really good. Also Get the connector. Don't want to unplug while you're flying. Now notice I'm just got a bunch of the high quality painters kit tape. Clearance on my wire. Clearance for my yokes. I've removed a bunch of other switches that I don't need because I just do tiny whoop and that's it so close it all up now one thing I was concerned about but it turned out is not a problem 
is will the output power interfere with the reception and it does to about two feet you start seeing some uh, lines but wearing the receiver on your head and having the one watt on your lap or even in a vehicle which is what I did today I didn't have any sort of issue with the reception being overwhelmed or swamped by the transmit power and uh, so turned out pretty good you get some decent range I doubt I'm gonna be getting any more fail safes and now I just have to get the long range on the receive side which is gonna be a ground station hope you like watching the video thanks for watching